don't want to land on your ass. You want to land feet first. That's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt. That's a word of warning. Do not land on your ass. Very painful. If it worse, you might get some water up the clacker. <laughs> Word of warning, land on your feet. Take a step out. Don't don't do a seat drop. Land on your feet. It's the safest way. It's the only way. Just take a step like a giant leap and land on your feet. Otherwise you will be in trouble. See how these guys are jumping in just like a like a pin. That's what they call it a pin drop. Jump. Feet first. Put your hands on your life jacket. That's it. down there Almost in the clouds here. Just in front of that first waterfall, that's the, I think that's the 12 metre jump. Up there is the 15 metre jump. And up there is the 17 metre jump. I don't know if you can see that, but that's 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 been blocked off. There's a piece of bamboo up there stopping people from jumping up there. I'm not sure why, but I can see how this place is dangerous. I did hit the bottom, just so you know. I did hit the bottom here. Um, I'm assuming it's probably about six meters, maybe seven meters deep before the rocks. So 
Just be a little bit careful. Try and land, like I said, try and land on your feet. If you're not experienced in diving in shallow water, head first, do not, and I repeat, do not attempt this. Don't be a hero. Don't be a dumbass and do something stupid here because you will hurt yourself. So, have fun, enjoy yourself, and remember, don't do nothing you're not sure of. I hope you enjoyed this tour with us today at Kawasan Falls. You don't do nothing stupid. If you'd have done that off the 12 meter, I would have would have cut you open like a knife. All right, the wife tried to be a smart ass. <laughs> and then she slapped the leg off him. So, like I said, that'll teach you. Don't do nothing you've never done before. Like I said before, especially if you're jumping off 10 plus meters. If you do something stupid off that height, you'll probably find yourself in the hospital or in the morgue. Word of warning guys, be very careful. Okay, we're off again. I think we're going to another pool, another swimming area. Another nice little waterfall here. Double here. Single over there. It's just magical here.
day and I think we might come here tomorrow. Just depends, we'll see. It's been raining for the last 20 minutes. It'd be nice, quite spooky coming here at night. Oh, thank you. Just look at this beautiful river. It's magical. Not deep enough. Not deep enough. Mother Nature at its best. Tinao Beach and Cottages, that's where you come. Sign is there, this way to Kawasan Falls. You'll see all the tricycles lining up here, ready to take you away. So, that was it guys. Let's go and have something to eat. We'll just bring our stuff back to the tables over there. Okay, we're back on the Sony now. Let's go and eat. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of a buffet barbecue lunch here. Okay, let's take a seat right here on the end. I'm there on the left, B. Okay, so a nice little. This is the sort of things I'm. I mean, when I say make sure you get a nice reputable tour agency, otherwise you're going to be having barbecue lunch under a tree somewhere. So, 
This is a nice little clean place we got here. It's in front of this resort. They obviously got to deal with these guys that they can come down and sit down on these tables. Vans over there, other tour guides, but we are over here. So, very nice. Okay, I got some chicken, got some pork, got some rice, got some salad, and an empty cup. Well, let's fix that up right now. That's how you pour a beer, guys. Wife's still over there getting her food. Sorry, I didn't get your names. Oh, uh, John. John. John from Sydney. And Vanessa. Vanessa from Brisbane. Right, okay. Alright. I'm um, Zoc. Short for Zoran. My wife Rochelle. So, I've got a YouTube channel called Zoc Star. You might see yourself in it if you if you have a look. Zoc Star. Z O K S T A R. Alright. You want to shout out to anyone? <laughs> Give a shout out to someone. Where are you from? California. California. Give a shout out to someone. Who you got back? Who? Give a shout out to someone back home. Oh yeah. Uh, my family. To your family. That's the one. First family. That's all of them. All right. No worries. Sweet. All right. All right. Let's dig into this beautiful food. Where are you from? Where are you? From? Singapore, what's your name? Keith. Keith? Yes. Keith, there's Keith from Singapore. And Kelly from Singapore. Kelly from Singapore. Boyfriend, girlfriend? Brothers and sisters. Okay. Yes. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> what about? I'm Marty from the Netherlands. Mar Marty? Marty. Marty. Marley. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Bob Marley, okay. <laughs> Marley from the Netherlands and your girlfriend? Renee. Yes. Renee, okay. Renee from the Netherlands. All right, so. These are all the guys. Hang on, what about you? Where are I'm you from? Tour oh, he's the tour Mario, guide. My name. Mario. Mario. Mario from Cebu. Cebu. Uh, who else have I left off? Left out. <laughs> uh, the other oh, two guys. My son, your guide. Oi. Goya. <laughs> What's your name? Arneto. 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 Corneto, like the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> PG. Okay, another guy. PG. They're the two guides that we had today. So I, I think I got everyone here. All right, let's eat. Except the cook. <laughs> the cook. All right, I'll try and get him later. Let's eat. Just go back in the kitchen. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Carlo. Carlo. Yeah. Carlo. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, Carlo. Nice. Safe journey home. Thank you. Alright, we're on our way back here to our resort. It's been raining since we left. That doesn't matter, we're all wet anyway. So, <laughs> we'll see you when we get back to the resort. Okay, welcome back guys and thanks for joining us on that Kawasan Canyoneering tour. We are back in our room now. We're having a shower and getting ready to go for dinner. Um, can I say once more, I just want to Wait. thank all the guys for organizing the tour, taking us on the tour and helping us throughout the tour. The guys were just wonderful. Um, they took pictures, they were patient, even though they said two, three minutes here, two, three minutes there. We took five, ten minutes here, five, ten minutes there, so they were quite patient. The tour operators that we chose were a little bit more expensive. They charged, I believe it was 2400 each, but 
experience we we had with them probably outweighs the cost. Um, I know some guys will charge you 1,500 peso, and for that, from what I've seen, you're not getting that same experience. Um, especially when it comes to the lunch, we had a really nice lunch, a barbecue lunch. We had the really just beautiful pork chops, grilled chicken, uh, two different types of grilled fish, a beautiful salad. Um, and after the tour, we sat back for almost like an hour just drinking beers. I mean, they provided, I think it was about 10 bottles of the large, the one litre bottles of the San Miguel Pilsen. And we sat back and just, yeah, smashed about 10 bottles worth. Uh, we were with a really nice couple from Australia. Um, one was from Brisbane, one was from Sydney. We met another couple from, I think it was uh, the Netherlands, I believe. Yeah, Netherlands. Um, another a couple from Singapore, and really nice people. I hope um, we meet the guys from the Netherlands. I think it was. Um, they're going to El Nido at the same time. We'll be there, so hopefully we can catch up with them and say hello. Like I said to you guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I love this place. The Philippines is one of the best places I've ever been to. I haven't been to many places. I've seen lots of videos on YouTube. I've seen the reviews. I've seen what people have to say, but as far as I'm concerned, the Philippines is the place f for me. Uh, my wife's from Tacloban, um, and we are actually planning on maybe retiring here one day, hopefully in the near future. Um, Cebu, beautiful. So beautiful. Um, I love this place. The people are really friendly. That's not to say the people of the Philippines are not friendly. Wherever I've gone in the Philippines, I've just found just the most friendliest, kindest, heartwarming people you will ever meet. I lived in the Philippines for over a year, back in 2011, I believe. Um, and I found the same wherever I am in the Philippines. Anyway, this is our place that we're staying in here in Quavadis. It is the premier suite, premier room. You've got your shower here, nice and big. You've got your toilet, your CR. You've got your little sink there to wash up. Um, that's the front door. Um, <coughs> nice king-size bed. I need a king size bed wherever I travel I always try and see if I can get a king size bed but unfortunately sometimes it does cost me a little bit more to get the king size bed as you can see here's all our stuff that's not even half of it two chairs here with a glass coffee table a couch nice two-seater couch another table here got your flat screen LED TV over there I don't know if I've done this if I showed you our room previously but I'm gonna do it again anyway um, this is a very nice room, comes with a modern split system inverter air conditioner which we've only been running it at about 23, 24, otherwise it just gets too cold. Um, we did have a problem with our fridge but they swapped that out immediately but if you can see, I think they put the wrong one, wrong size one back in. But anyway, we haven't been using it much, it's just the cold drinks in there. And as you can see also, plenty of storage place in this in this uh, Sea View Premier Suite. Plenty of storage place. <clears throat> and the best thing about this place, which you can't really see at the moment, is that we are right on the ocean's edge. Um, let me just see, where's my bag? One thing I will recommend if you are ever traveling in the Philippines is to bring yourself a flashlight. Um, we haven't experienced it here yet, but in the past, like in El Nido and Coron, you do get blackouts. Um, here they call them brownouts. So anyway, we are right here on the ocean's edge. I don't know if you can see that. That's looking down from our apartment and you can see it's still raining the waves are just there you 
can see those boats over there. But we are right here on the ocean's edge. Magnificent place here. I do recommend Quo this Dive Resort. If you're in Mobile, it is a bit pricier than most. Let me just try and get this torch to work if I can for a second. Okay, there it is. You might see some boats over there. Another boat over there, but yeah, it is raining. It's been raining all day. Um, this is the terrace here. You do get a really nice, a very large terrace here. The restaurant is just over there. So you're in between one restaurant over there and another little sort of resto bar just here. You can order from the restaurant. They, can, they will deliver to that bar if you want or they will deliver to your room. So that is it in a nutshell. Um, we are, I've just had a shower. The wife, have you had your shower yet? Not yet. Not yet? Alright, I'm waiting for the wife to jump in the shower so she can get ready so we can go out and have something to eat for dinner. I'm not really hungry because we just had dinner from the tour, probably yeah. about two hours ago. We might just go and have a little light snack. I don't know where we're going to go. Um, yeah, might just have a light snack and a bit of a dessert and then back to our room, get some rest and tomorrow is our last day. We're going to see how we feel. If we're up to it, we might go for one more dive to Pescador, just across the ocean here. Obadar, straight across the ocean there is Pescador Island. So we'll see how we feel. I mean, we haven't stopped going since we started this trip back in 2018. 23rd of December 2018, we left from Australia and we haven't stopped since we have arrived. So tomorrow might just be a relaxing day. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to pack. Um, we've dropped some laundry off, so we're going to hopefully get that tomorrow. And on Saturday, we are leaving. Um, it's going to be a sad day. I hate goodbyes. We've, you know, whenever we travel to the Philippines, you, you meet the, the best people, the nicest people, the kindest people, the most hospitable people you will ever meet in the Philippines. In the world, sorry. Um, and Cebu is no different. Cebu is just magnificent. Uh, you need more than seven days to explore Cebu's. You probably need seven years. Um, as you may or may not know, there are 7,641 islands in the Philippines. Um, and like I said to the wife, you probably need a life, maybe two lifetimes to explore the whole of the Philippines. So we're on our first lifetime. Uh, hopefully we can share most of our adventures here at the moment. We are here for another three weeks. Uh, hope you can stay with us. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you like the videos, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there. If you haven't already, click that bell button. Make sure you click that. That way you're notified of any of our future uploaded videos. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like. Leave a comment. Say hello. Don't be shy. We're just nice, friendly people from Australia and we're visiting your beautiful country. So until we meet again, see you soon.